So welcome to Gentle Flow. We're gonna start when you're ready, please laying down on your back in a comfortable position. I'm gonna recommend constructive rest pose. So the soles of feet are mat with distance apart. The knees are gonna knock in to touch. And then you can rest your arms alongside the body. Take your time to arrive here in your practice. So as you rest in this position, it allows your lower back sacrum to be very broad. You can let your palms turn to face up in a gesture of receptivity and openness. For whatever insight arises in this practice today, Take a body scan with your mind's eye, passing slowly from the crown of the head all the way down the sides of the neck, down along the spine, the restful quality of the back of the rib cage, the natural lower back curve, letting the sacrum rest and the tip of the tail softening Start to notice the natural flow of your breath today, moving in and out of your nose and its natural rhythm. Anytime your mind wants to wander off or get distracted, just guide it back to the breath, to the present moment, to your practice today. Feel the four corners of the feet connecting and resting into the ground, the balls of the feet, the pinky toe sides of the feet, the inner and outer heels, the center of the heels. The arches of the feet are defined and the center arches of the feet are energizing up into the inner ankles, up into the inner knees. The inseams of the inner thighs are resting down into the pelvic floor. And we let the belly relax. Any tension or gripping in the belly softens. And you're tuning into your breath. Anytime your mind wanders off, you notice the breath and we can take the hands and rest the hands on your belly, taking the warmth of both hands and resting the hands on the belly. Feeling the rising and falling of the breath. We start to elongate the breath a little bit more. When you inhale, the belly expands when you exhale, the belly hollows and softens back toward the spine as you elongate the exhale a little bit more. I'm just working with that for a few rounds. As you inhale, you feel the belly expand. And as you exhale, the belly softens toward the spine. Stay with the breath. Let the eyes relax, the forehead, the jaw. Keeping your hands on the belly, very slowly, you can begin to windshield wiper the knees from side to side, letting the knees spill over to one side and then slowly back to center and the knees will spill to the other side. And slowly back to center and just working with that a few times, very slowly, letting the knees fall over to one side and gliding through the center and spilling to the other. 
And as you do this, you can pay attention to the connection of the femur into the pelvis. Any sensations that chain and flow from your feet up into the lower back and up even into the back of the head and into the shoulders. <clears throat> And as your knees come back to center, take a pause and heel toe the feet a little closer together, feet are hip width. You're gonna root down through your left foot and hug your right knee in towards your body. Hands are in the knee crease or the front of the shin. You're gonna squeeze the right thigh towards you. The right heel falls down a little more towards your sitting bone. Yeah. And when you inhale, you're gonna hug the leg a little closer toward you. When you exhale, you're gonna press the right shin into your hands and let the leg fall away from the body a little bit. And there's a little resistance of that right shin into the hands. And we're gonna work with the breath a few times in this flow. On the inhale, squeeze the leg toward you. And on the exhale, let the leg fall away and resist that shin into your hands. Inhale, hug the leg closer towards, squeeze. Exhale, bring the knee away from your face. And one more time, inhale, hug the leg in. And exhale, bring that shin away. Keep pressing the shin into the hands so that your head lifts off the ground. And you start to look toward that space between the inner thighs. And you're gonna hover your left foot off the ground just for a second. Mm -hmm. Flex the left foot. And then release the left foot down and hug that right knee in again towards you. Give it a little squeeze. And then extend the right sole of the foot toward the sky. Hands are behind the thigh bone. You're gonna point and flex a few times through your right foot. Keep resting the shoulder blades down toward the earth. So the collarbones are very broad. And you continue to feel that left foot connect to the ground and very slowly keeping the interlace of the hands where it is, you're gonna bend your right knee, bring the heel toward your butt and then point the toe toward the floor. So you're just gonna work with bending and straightening the leg in this way. Inhale, extend up, sole of foot toward the sky. Flex your foot and then exhale, bend and lower. And as you lower, point the toes toward the floor. It's gonna keep your knee in the same position as you inhale, extend up, flex and exhale, bend and point. Just waking up the knee joint, the ankle joint. Inhale one more time toward the sky. We're gonna flex. And then as you exhale, bend, and point, and then go ahead and cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Let that right knee fall open and your right hand can come onto the inner thigh and just give a press toward the knee. Or if you feel open enough, thread the needle, slip your right hand in between the legs and interlace your hands in the left knee crease or in the front of your shin for figure four pose. So whatever feels comfortable, we pause, we breathe and let your mind linger on the area of the most sensation Breathing space into the right hip. Shoulder blades relaxing down. When you inhale, you're gonna squeeze the legs a little closer toward. And then exhale, you're gonna release both feet onto the floor. Feel the feet connect onto the floor. Reach your arms overhead. Reach your arms right up alongside the ears. On your inhale, stretch up through the fingers toward the wall behind you. And then exhale, let the arms start to flow down alongside the body. I'm just going to do that a couple of times, bringing the focus a little more up into the upper body for a couple breaths. Inhale, press through the feet, drift the arms overhead. Exhale, let the arms come down very slow. Feet are connecting to the earth. Inhale, reach the arms up. Fill the belly with breath. And when you exhale, rooting through that right foot, hug your left knee in toward the body. Hands are in the knee crease or the front of the shin. Gather that left leg toward you. Little squeeze. We're gonna work with the flow again. On the inhale, squeeze the thigh toward you a little more. And then when you exhale, resist that left shin into the hands. So the arms straighten and you press the shin into the hands. You just do that a couple times. Inhale, you hug the thigh closer toward. And exhale, you press away. Inhale, hugging in. Exhale, press away. And inhale, hugging in. And when you exhale, press away enough that your head's gonna lift as well and your chin comes toward the chest a little and then you hover your right foot off the ground to waking up through the lower core. 
exhale out and then release the head back, release your right foot. You're gonna hug the leg, the left leg a little closer toward and then extend the left sole of the foot up toward the sky, flex the foot, extend that left sole of the foot right up toward the sky on the inhale. And then on the exhale, bend through the left knee, point your left toes down. And I'm just gonna do that a couple of times. Inhale, extend the leg straight and flex. And then exhale, bend the knee and point the toe toward the earth. Do that a couple of times. Inhale, you flex and extend the leg up. Exhale, bend and point down. Inhale, extend up, flex. Exhale, bend, point down. So we're gonna inhale last time, extend up and flex. And then this time as you exhale, cross your left ankle over on top of the right thigh. You can just work there, keeping your right foot on the ground, letting that left inner knee fall away from your face. It's a fine place to stay. If you feel a little more challenge might be available, you're gonna hug the legs towards you, slip your left hand in between the legs, hands are in the right knee crease or the front of the shin for figure four pose. And we're holding and we're pausing and just being with that sensation and any gentle rocking or movement is welcome as you hold for a little while, two or three breaths. Good. As you inhale, you can hug the legs a little closer towards you. And then as you exhale, release and step your feet onto the floor. Feel the feet connecting. Feet are hip width. On your inhale, reach the arms overhead, stretch the arms up overhead. And then exhale, let the arms come down really slow. And we're gonna do this two more times with the breath moving the body. Inhale, arms are floating up. The inhale lengthens the spine a little bit. And then exhale, arms come down and the lower back is a little more rested. Inhale, floating up. And exhale, arms are gonna come down, hug both knees in toward your body for a gentle squeeze. You can rock from side to side a couple times, massage your lower back on the ground. And then gradually make your way toward a full happy baby with the elbows coming in between the knees, hands are on the ankles or the feet. Soles of feet face the sky. Long channel from crown to tail. Few breaths. Always coming back to the breath. And as you stay here for a moment, you can set your intention for this practice today, the rest of the practice. What do you wanna cultivate as you stay present with the breath? and present in your body. So what intention, what's your why for practicing today? And then we're gonna release the feet, bring the knees in, squeeze the knees together, open the arms out to a T and you're gonna turn your palms down to face the floor. So your palms connect with the floor and using your core, you're gonna squeeze the knees a little closer towards you and then let the knees go over a couple degrees to the right. You don't have to bring them all the way over, just a couple degrees and then back to center and bring the knees over a couple of degrees to the left and back to center and over to the right a couple of degrees and back to center and over to the left a couple of degrees and then back to center and then let the knees go all the way over onto the right and you can go ahead and swing your left arm over across the body roll all the way over onto your right hand side touch the palms together just look at the palms for a moment resting in that fetal position Feel the right shoulder scooch underneath you a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is start to slide your left hand across your right arm toward your chest. And then any amount, open your left arm out toward a little cactus shape or out to a T and let the gaze spill over toward your left arm. And it's working there. And so what we're gonna do is circulate that left arm up overhead and bring the left hand back toward the right. And then bring your left hand down toward your outer shin, toward your leg. And then just like the arm of a clock, circulate that left palm over to the left. And whatever range of motion feels good, just make a few big circles with this left arm. The inhale opens the chest up and the arm up overhead. And the exhale closes the belly and the arm down toward the floor. And you can just do one more. 
full inhale, we're waking up that left shoulder and then exhale, rolling over onto the side. Good, and then press the palms together and then keep the palms together and you're gonna roll back onto your back, but keeping the arms straight as you come back onto your back, keep the arms straight, palms press with the fingertips reaching up toward the sky and bring the fingertips up so that the fingertips are pointing toward the ceiling. Yep. Keep pressing through the palms so you activate the biceps a little bit. Feel the ribs knit in. And then open the arms out to a T again. Take the palms to face the earth and you're gonna squeeze the knees in toward your body and let the knees fall over to the left. Any amount toward a twist. Good. And then you're gonna slowly start to roll over onto your left. Bring the right arm over across the body. Bring the hands to touch again in prayer so the arms are straight. And you're looking toward the prayer hands and you're letting that right hip just kind of settle on top of the left for a moment. And then as you inhale, you're gonna slide that right arm open across the chest, opening that right arm out toward a cactus or toward a T. You're gonna gaze over that right hand. And then as you inhale, you're gonna circulate like the arm of a clock, that right arm up and overhead. And then around and down and just whatever direction, it could be clockwise or counterclockwise, you're gonna circulate that right arm overhead and then with some tone in the belly releasing the arm down toward the floor and just whatever range of motion it could be a small circle or, an, or a larger circle tuning into the inhale as the arm opens overhead and the exhale closes the arm down now the next time you lay on the left side just take a pause give the palms a press and then you're gonna roll over onto your back, taking the arms up overhead, keeping the palms pressing together in prayer. Coming back onto your lower back, you have the pelvis pretty much centered with the back of the skull and the feet are connecting. Keeping the palms pressing now, point your fingertips up toward the sky and then point your fingertips toward that space between your knees. Keep pressing the palms, lift your head, tone your belly, turn on that lower belly and take a little crunch. So you kind of lift up your head press through the feet, yep. You're gonna exhale and then inhale, reach the arms overhead, keeping the palms connecting. And then as you exhale, you're gonna hug the knees in toward the body again for a little squeeze. And you're gonna go ahead and roll onto your right hand side, coming into the fetal position. Rest your ear in the crook of the arm, rest into the floor for a couple moments. Let the floor support you. You can let go anything you wanna release that's not bringing you joy that's not serving you. You let the floor absorb that. And then use your left hand to very slowly press your way on up. We're gonna make our way up into cross-legged Sukhasana. Easy, comfortable seat. You're gonna sit tall. Take your time. Dropping through the tail on the inhale, drift the arms overhead. You can reach on up and exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Good, two more times. We're gonna inhale, swoop the arms out and up overhead. And you can look up between the hands and exhale, bring the hands right down through heart center. Belly is tone. One more time, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center and bringing the thumbs to the center of the chest. We're gonna pause here. We're gonna honor each other and this practice and all of our intentions with the chant of a single ohm on the exhale breath. Oh. And then we're gonna take our fingertips into a little fist at the front of the shoulder, point your elbows forward, and then to whatever range of motion, you're gonna start to point the elbows up, inhale, and then you're gonna circulate the elbows back and down and drop the shoulders as you do that. I'm just gonna do that a few slow times. Inhale, elbows point up, and you rotate, exhale the elbows down. Keeping the outer knees relaxing toward the floor. Inhale, we point up. Exhale, we're gonna rotate them down and then you're gonna point the elbows forward, touch the elbows together so they squeeze together. 
and really press your hands on tops of your kind of clavicle bones. So you activate the biceps. And then you're gonna let the arms fall forward, palms face up and lean back. We're gonna squeeze the knees in together, uncross, cross the opposite shin on top, and then go ahead and walk the hands forward with the feet flexed. And take a gentle Sukhasana forward fold, letting the chin drop toward the body. Any amount you can breathe there, breathing some space all the way into that lower back sacrum, the lowest back ribs. And you can press your palms into the earth and start to walk your hands back toward your ankles. And then as you inhale, you're gonna open the arms out. So the fingertips are gonna extend right out from the shoulders. And then when you exhale, you're gonna round the spine a little bit, bring your palms in to press and tone that belly toward the spine. We're just gonna do that a couple of times. Inhale, you open. You can turn your palms up and look up and then exhale, belly in, press. Good, inhale, open, and then exhale, belly in, press, inhale, open, and exhale, belly in, give a press, lean back a little more, keep pressing, feel the belly turn on and expand a little, or contract rather, toward the spine as you exhale out. And then you're gonna reach the fingertips forward, reaching forward, forward, forward. And then as you exhale, you're gonna press the palms, open the elbows and bring the base of the wrist toward your chest and curl back. We'll just do that a couple of times. Inhale, leaning forward. Exhale, press. So kind of activating the pectoral muscles a little bit. Inhale and the biceps and exhale. Good. And inhale. And last time on the exhale, Good, and then release the hands back behind you, tented fingers, squeeze your knees in, take your feet to the floor, and then slowly you're gonna lift the toes and you're gonna start to slide the legs out towards straight. And as you do that, you can slide your fingers around and you're gonna reach forward toward a little forward fold, any degree, you can keep the knees a little bit bent. And we're in this Paschimottanasana with the legs as straight as you can without locking the knees out. If it's really too much for you, you can always bend the knees quite a bit more and just start to melt the chin down towards your body. And then what we're gonna do is inhale, reach on up and flex your feet. And then exhale, you're gonna start to reach and you're gonna point your toes. Inhale, flex, lift up, reach up, and exhale, reach for the tops of the feet or the ankles or the shins and point. We'll just do it one more time. Inhale, flex, reach up, and then exhale and point. And we're gonna pause there with the point and the hands can be on the front of the shins or they can press toward the tops of the feet, pressing toward the toes, hugging the belly in, chin toward chest. Exhale all the way out. Good. and then slowly flex the feet. Bring your heels back toward your sitting bones. Press your feet on the floor, wrap your arms around your legs. So you're grabbing your elbows and then just try to lift the heart, sit up nice and tall, keep the feet connecting. We're gonna look up toward the sky, inhale. And then when you exhale, neutralize the chin, cross either shin on top and you're gonna pull through into your tabletop position. So as you come into tabletop, if your knees are tender, you can put a blanket under your knees. We're gonna find this tabletop and we're gonna take the palms a little bit wider. Elbows are soft. I'm just gonna hover your right hand off the ground for a second and then lower the right hand. Hover your left hand and lower your left hand. Hover your right knee, lower your right knee. Hover your left knee and foot. Kind of lift that whole femur into the body and then lower. And then the right side, lift the right femur and the shin and foot. And then lower and the left side. And then lower. Now press back into child's pose with toes tucked and reach the hands forward, 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 stretch long. With toes curled underneath, you're stretching out the soles of the feet. Mm -hmm. And you're really opening up all those pressure points. 
in the soles of the feet, the arches of the feet. Now, when you inhale, we're gonna wave forward. And when you exhale, we're gonna hug the elbows in, just come down onto the belly. Take the feet flat. As you inhale, you're rooting the pelvis and just take a little bit of a lengthen of the chest, not a big cobra, just a little baby. Inhale and then exhale, lower, tuck your toes, keep your knees down and press back again to active child. So we're gonna move through this flow two more times. Dragging your palms to the earth, lift the belly, inhale, flow to modified plank. Exhale, melt down to the belly. Take your feet flat, drag your palms to the earth, inhale, cobra. Lower your heart, tuck your toes, lift the belly, slowly press back into child's pose. And we're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, slide forward. Yep, hug your elbows in, then come all the way onto your belly as you exhale. And then feet are flat as you inhale, lift your heart. And then exhale, press back, active child's toes are tucked, hips to heels. Good, now as you find your way in active child's pose with toes tucked, we're gonna come on up to tented fingers, look toward your ribs, lift your ribs, lift your belly, walk your hands all the way over to the right as much as you feel you can, and you're looking underneath your right underarm and you're breathing along that left side body. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're looking under that right underarm, you let the left rib drop. And then picking up the ribs and belly, walk your hands back to center, walk your hands over to the left. And you're gonna peek under that left underarm, let your right rib drop. Wrapping that right hip crease around toward the outer right, heel. Good. And then we're going to come back to center. So we have tented fingers, or you could put your hands on your blocks if you need a little more space. We're going to hoist your right foot right in between the hands. So your right knee is over the heel and your left knee could be on, on a blanket or you could fold your mat if the knee gets tender. Lay the top of that left foot flat. And just hold there for a second. You can squeeze your left gluteal. We're gonna plant the left hand all the way on the ground. I'm just gonna reach your right hand back with the thumb up, like you're reaching your right hand toward the back of your mat. And we're gonna to inhale to circulate the right arm up. And then exhale, you can kind of bend the elbow and swing the arm down and inhale, palm faces away from your face and exhale, arm down. Good, one more time, inhale, rotate. Exhale, release down. And we're gonna tuck the back toes. You're gonna inch that back knee forward a little bit. You're gonna press through your right foot and step the back foot toward the top of your mat. When you get there, let's go ahead and come all the way up to stand. And we're gonna find our Tadasana standing at the top of the mat. So find your Tadasana at the top of the mat. You're standing in the very center of the front of your mat. Arms are resting alongside the body. And we're bringing the back of the head back and up a little bit. I'm just looking for a place you can shift forward and back a little bit, back into the heels and forward into the balls of the feet. And if you just take some, a few moments to close your eyes and tune into the connection of your feet to the earth. And there's that little bit of a give in the knees. And we're gonna let the shoulders draw up toward the ears. Squeezing the shoulders up toward the earlobes and then let the shoulders soften down. Let's do that a couple of times. Inhale, you're gonna squeeze the shoulders up. You can even make fists with the hands. And then exhale, let the shoulders release and the palms release and bend your knees a little more. And so we're gonna straighten, we're gonna make fists and lift the shoulders and squeeze. And then exhale, we're gonna bend. And we're gonna bend a little more this time, coming more toward a Utkatasana leg. So if it feels way too much on your back, you can bend a little less. Just whatever amount you're able to bend and keep a natural neutral lower back. Keep knitting the hip points in toward the belly. You're gonna drift the arms forward and press the palms, just like when we were on the back. Good. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the right hand peeling open across your right arm. 
Let the right knee and hip travel back a little bit. Open your right arm. Look toward your right hand. Good. And then as you inhale, circulate your right arm up and overhead. Bring that palm right back to center and the knees come back to center. And then we can straighten the legs to give a little break through the quadriceps. And if you can keep the palms pressing, reach the arms up and squeeze the biceps toward the ears. We're gonna inhale and then we're gonna exhale, bend any amount, extend out from your heart and then open your left arm across the body. That left hip and knee can travel back in space a little. And you look over your left hand. Good, and you're gonna inhale, reach the left arm up overhead, bring the knees back to center, tone belly, give a press, and then start to straighten the legs, reach up, interlace the fingers, flip the palms so the palms face the sky, and then you're gonna sway up and over to the right, belly is toned, we come back to center, sway over to the left, back to center, sway to the right, Back to center and over to the left. And back to center, keep the arms up overhead. Shift into your right foot and lift your left foot off the ground. Little hover, little balance moment. And then place the left foot slowly right back down where it was. And flip, pressing through the left foot, peel your right foot off the ground, any amount. And then slowly lower the right foot down. Shift into the right foot, lift your left foot. Good, now as you exhale, let the arms come down. Bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna slowly step your left foot back into a warrior two position. So it's about heel to heel alignment. Good. It's about heel to heel alignment. That right knee is wrapping open. Right toes pointing straight ahead. When you feel stable, open the arms to a T. Good. You're lifting through the side ribs. We're gonna straighten the front leg on the inhale. Lift your palms a little. And then exhale, bend the front knee. Let the palms sink down just a little bit below the shoulder height. And then inhale, straighten, lift up a little above the shoulder height. And exhale, bend down. Keep that left foot connected. Good, inhale, lift up, lift them a little above the shoulder height. And then exhale, bend down. Good, now let the hands come all the way down. Take your hands right onto the belly. Give the belly a press. We're gonna start to turn our heart toward the front of the mat. You're gonna heel toe that back foot in a little bit. Just to shorten your stance. Press through that right foot and step forward. Now, as you fold, keep your hands pressing into the belly. Make little fists. You see how this feels? Feels kind of funny. Gather your fists right below the belly button and fold over the fists and give the fist a little press and let the head go. Good. If that feels really uncomfortable or doesn't feel good to you, then just let your hands come down to the floor. Your elbows are gonna point a little bit up toward the sky. So the elbows point toward the ceiling a little bit. We're gonna inhale, puff out the belly, puff it into the hands, and then exhale, let it out your mouth. <sighs> Two more times, inhale, exhale. <sighs> One more time, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> now slide the hands out and just feel that kind of spaciousness of the belly and hips and take your hands onto your lower back. Yep, give your lower back a nice press, drop the tail, gather the belly and very slowly, 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 so you don't get dizzy. It's gonna come up and we're gonna slowly reach the arms forward and interlace the non-habitual finger on top and push the palm up toward the sky. You're gonna shift into your left foot Feel your right foot off the ground. And then slowly lower that right foot back down right where it was. Stamping that right foot down, peel the left foot off the ground. Flexing through the left foot. Try to relax the neck and shoulders a little bit. And then lower that left foot down. And then lift the right foot. And then slowly bring your hands to the hips and you're gonna step your right foot back and down and find your warrior two stance. So it's about heel to heel alignment. And then when you feel sturdy, let the arms extend out, Virabhadrasana two, and you're gazing over the left fingertips. 
Good. And you're wrapping the left knee open. Let the pelvis sink down a little, let your arms sink down. And then as you inhale, you're gonna straighten the front leg let the arms float up. And then you exhale, bend down, the arms come down. Good, inhale, arms float up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, arms come down, we bend. Inhale, the arms will drift up. And exhale, good. Now inhale, you're gonna straighten. And then when you exhale, release your hands down the front of the body and take your hands right onto the belly. Press the hands onto the belly, start to turn. You're gonna heel toe that back foot in just to stabilize your knee, your back knee. And then you start to look toward the front of your mat and step forward. Knees are bent. Go ahead and straighten the legs. Take your hands onto your lower back. And you're just gonna take this little bit of a back bend with the knees a little bent. You're gonna inhale, lift the sternum up. And then you're gonna exhale, bend a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Plant your palms. We're gonna step back into one downward facing dog. Now, if downward facing dog is making you dizzy or you don't feel good, downward dog, just take a tabletop pose instead so your head is more aligned with your heart. But if you're feeling good about downward dog, we're gonna take about three breaths there. You can pedal your feet, lift one heel at a time, just kind of open up the backs of the legs a little bit. And step your feet about hip width distance apart. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good. And then on your inhale, lift the heels, come toward a plank pose and bring your knees down and come all the way down onto your belly. Take your feet flat, reach your arms back, the thumbs face down, the chin is neutral. We're gonna root through the pelvis. And when you inhale, we'll take a locust pose, strengthening the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings, the gluteals. Spread through the baby toes, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna release and we're gonna stack the palms. Either palm on top. You can inch your elbows forward a little bit. Now you're gonna let your forehead rest and you're gonna shift a little into that outer left thigh, just toward that direction. And glide the right knee up. So we come into about a half of a frog leg with the right knee extending out from the hip any degree. And if it feels okay on your neck, you can turn your face to look toward your left elbow and rest your right temple there. And if that's too much, just keep the forehead on the hands instead. And let try to allow the arm bones to rest and let the inner thigh, the right inner thigh hang. Yep. And you can stay and breathe. Just for a few rounds of breath in that position. Can you deepen the inhale a little more and when you inhale? And elongate the exhale a little more when you exhale. Relaxing your jaw, your throat, your chest. And very slowly, we're gonna peel the back of the head right off the hands. And we're gonna extend our left arm straight forward. Left arm's gonna extend straight forward. Right hand, fingertips on the floor. Now you're gonna turn your left palm up and start to roll over onto your left side rib. Yep. And then you're just gonna open that right arm out, coming a little bit toward, you can take a cactus arm just in that moment of a slight twist. If it feels okay, you could extend your right leg a little more straight. It might be possible to catch your right toe and your left hand together. And look to the right. We're just gonna do another inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna go ahead and roll back onto your belly. As you roll on your belly, you're gonna extend both arms forward, palms on the ground. Press into the ground with your palms and with the tops of your feet quite a bit. Give it a nice press. 
You're kind of squeezing the muscles and the quadriceps a little bit. And then you're gonna release and root the pelvis and any, if you can lift the arms and the legs, go ahead. Otherwise you can keep your fingers touching the ground. Let's do one more inhale and exhale. We're gonna release and stack the other palm on top, opposite palm on top. And as you rest your forehead, you're gonna hug that left knee up to about half a frog leg, forehead on the hands. If your neck feels okay, turn and look to the right and soften that left temple or cheek onto the supportive shelf, the pillow of your arms or hands. And we breathe a few rounds there. Letting that line from the arch of the left foot to the inner knee, to the inseam of the inner thigh, to the pelvic floor, just hang and soften. Inhale of the diaphragm expanding into the massage of the organs, the low belly. And you let the exhale empty out completely. And then very slowly, we're gonna peel the back of the head up off the hands. We're gonna reach our right arm forward, right out from the shoulder. Reach that right arm right up overhead, right out from the shoulder. And then you're gonna turn that right palm up and you roll over onto the right. And that's a fine place just to work. And you can even bring your left hand like onto your lower back if that felt more nourishing. If it feels all right on the shoulder, you start to open out coming toward a twist with the arms coming out into a cactus. And by no means will that left knee stay on the ground. Just kind of let it organically do what it wants. You find the breath into the belly. And you exhale, carve the belly toward the spine. And if it feels possible for some, maybe able to extend that left leg and catch the left toes in the right hand. And slowly together, we reach that left arm up overhead. We're gonna start to make our way back onto the belly. And you're gonna take both arms forward again, extending both arms forward to come onto the belly. I'm just gonna wag the tail a little bit. And then you're gonna glide the elbows under the shoulders, come on up toward a sphinx position. Elbows under the shoulders, belly is hanging, really loose kind of low belly, point your toes up. You take your knees a little wider, touch your toes together. And just let the belly hang out for a second. You can let the chin move down toward your chest and see how that feels on your neck, don't force. Feel the connection of from the middle fingers to the center of the elbow. And then start to lift the gaze forward. And you can just very slowly, you can play with a little windshield wiper, but don't do too extreme if the back feels tender there. Mm -hmm. Good. And then as the feet come back to center, you're gonna let the legs extend out. You're gonna let the heart sink and you're gonna bring the palms under the elbows. Zip the feet together, press through the tops of the feet. And then you're gonna start to press up with the knees staying down, press up, lift the belly, and then press your way back toward a wide-legged child's pose. The knees are very wide, the big toes touch, soften your heart, soften your forehead toward the earth, and a couple breaths there, evening out the hips. Having the breath fill. Anywhere that feels tight in that lower belly region, that digestive region. Soften in the brain and the eyes. Come back to the breath. And from here, we just start to let the tailbone heavy and you can walk your hands towards your knees. Just take your time to scooch over onto the right. So the heels, go ahead and swing around, extend the legs out straight again. We're gonna sit in Dandasana for a moment, pose of the staff with the hands resting on tops of the thighs. And just sitting with this integrity of the spine. Good. And we're gonna inhale. Look up, open your eyes nice and wide, look up toward the sky. 
And then as you exhale, we're gonna tone the belly and start to slide back. Now, if this feels too much on your back, you can always just roll over onto the side and make your way back that way. Make your way down onto your back and go ahead and reach the arms overhead. Stretch long through the whole body, open and closing hands, pointing and flexing feet. We're gonna take a big full inhale into the belly and exhale, let the arms come down alongside the body. And you can let out any amount of noise in the throat, like a ha ah, sound in the throat when you exhale. Turn your palms to face up. Let's take a body scan for a second. Couple of breaths, noticing and observing whatever there is to notice as you lay. We're gonna allow the left leg to stay resting and we're gonna glide the right knee in toward the body and take this gentle power Mukhtasana, right thigh drawing toward you. Give a little hug. And then slowly release your right foot onto the floor. Feel the right foot connect. Give the foot a press into the ground and slide the right leg out. Hug your left knee in. Hands are in the knee crease or the front of the shin. Gently pull that left leg toward you, breathing into that left side. It's really helpful for that digestive flow to fill the space of the lower belly with the inhale. And then exhale, release the left foot onto the ground, give it a nice press. And then extend the left leg out. Let your heels open out a little bit. And then let your arms rest alongside the body. And we're going to take our Shavasana today. So if it feels too much to have your legs extended straight, you could always roll a blanket to put under your knees, or you could step your feet on the ground and take constructive rest with the knees knocking in like we did at the beginning of class. We're gonna find our final Shavasana where all you have to do is rest into the floor and you're gonna close your eyes and find receptive mode, restorative mode. As we relax, we just stay in contact with the breath. If your mind feels really busy or there's a lot of activity of the brain, Notice the flow of the breath again. Let all the tissues of the body soften. Let the spine relax and all the natural curves of the spine are supported by the floor. Let the femur bones, the big thigh bones rest like there was sandbags resting on tops of the femurs, weighting them toward the earth. How does letting go feel in the joints?
a lot of light, a lot of space in every cell of the body. I'm sharing a poem today called, And For No Reason. And for no reason, I start skipping like a child. And for no reason, I turn into a leaf that is carried so high, I kiss the sun's mouth and dissolve. And for no reason, a thousand birds choose my head for a conference table and start passing their cups of wine and their wild songbooks all around. And for every reason in existence, I begin to eternally, to eternally laugh and love. When I turn into a leaf and start dancing, I run to kiss our beautiful friend and I dissolve in the truth that I am. And we're coming back into your gratitude practice for today, arriving in a, gra arriving in a gratitude practice. Anything at all you have to be grateful for, what's going right, what can you celebrate in this moment? We choose to focus on that for a little while to shift and change the energy field inside and around you. Your awareness flowing in its healing way, like a river from the heart all the way out into the fingers and toes, bringing light, protection, healing, the wiggling fingers and toes. And when you feel ready in your own time, stretching the arms overhead, we find a nice long reset, resetting, lengthening. And taking your time as you feel ready to gather the knees in toward the body and very gradually and slowly roll your way to the left hand side, the side of digestion, where you really allow a release of your stress, of your worry, of your burdens, just for this moment, this one second, can you let go of whatever's holding you down and feel a little lighter. And when you're ready in your own time, you can use your hands very gradually to press your way back up. And we're gonna meet together again in a comfortable seat. You can bring to mind your intention for practice. Maybe that intention can come with you for the rest of your day. And when you find yourself upright again, bring the hands together in front of the heart, the thumbs connecting to the sternum. Let's honor each other and this practice and all of our intentions by connecting with the sound of a single ohm on the exhale. Oh. Wishing you a lot of light and laughter today and always trust in your own intuition. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for practicing. It was a killer ohm you have. <laughs> that was great. Thanks virtual. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna post this class on my YouTube channel. Um, uh, yoga with Sarah Trapani, so it'll be available next week. And if you're on YouTube watching, then thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing. Thanks, everyone. Have thanks, a great day. Sarah. Thanks, Anne. Great to see you. Bye.